congratulations on the film. I absolutely loved it. I mean, this is a proper roller coaster of a film. Um, we'll start with you, Chris. I mean, a lot of people know you as Captain America and love you as Captain America, right? So I just, I think they need a warning that your new, this character, he's pretty evil. He's, he's quite different to, to Steve Rogers, isn't he? Is it more fun being the bad guy? I was wondering. Uh, it's certainly more fun when you're filming. You know what I mean? Because he's, there's a lot more room for improvisation. There's a lot more room to kind of uh, 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 be free um, as opposed to someone who is uh, a little more reserved and internal. Yeah. Uh, but but if, if, if you do each character properly, I think, you know, if, if, if the final product comes out the way you hope it should, uh, I, I will say there's a little bit more fun playing the hero. Okay. And, and there's so much action in this. I mean, for you, that's the opening scene, this big fight scene with Ryan Gosling, then there's that tram scene, but I won't say anything more about crazy. So <laughs> did training from previous projects, like No Time to Die or whatever, did that help you at all? Or was it like just totally different type of choreography and all that type of thing for these type fight scenes? Uh, I mean, it did, it did help a little bit just to have the, you know, as in having a notion of what training for some action would be like, but nothing like what we did here. We had months of training for this movie. I, I was uh, very committed to it because I usually don't feel very comfortable doing that. Um, right. So I wanted to be really prepared and it was important for me to have that to, to feel comfortable with all the weapons and all the military aspect of it because it's such a big part of, mm -hmm. you know, of, of it in the movie. Yeah. Uh, I, I loved it. It was a really, really fun part of the, the pre-production. And I loved my team, my my weapons that trainer, my my stunts team. It was awesome. And then rehearsing with Danush and Ryan, yeah. it was a really cool process. Yeah. And, and Chris, for you, you actually had to fight Ryan Gosling in this. So I was wondering, how did you find the choreography? And what's Ryan Gosling like to work with? Do you know what I mean? There's so many brilliant actors in this. Yeah, he's he's wonderful. I mean, he's, uh, like I said, he's constantly committed. Um, he's a very giving actor. He, he understands that acting is a is a team sport. You know, I've, I've been on a few films where you really feel isolated from the other performers. Ryan is very much uh, concerned with making sure you are also comfortable and content and happy with 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 how the scene's going um and and the same extends to action sequences you know he's he's very focused very exacting he works really hard um but he also commits fully so if if you don't block that punch you might get punched <laughs> <laughs> um, Anna, this isn't your only Netflix film this year. I mean, you're doing a lot of strong female, brilliant roles you're getting, including Marilyn Monroe in Blonde. So are you enjoying the opportunity, opportunities you're getting from Netflix? And are you excited for, for what we're going to see? Because you look amazing as Marilyn from the trailer. Thank you. Right? Uh, amazing. Oh, good. I am very happy. Yeah, I think they're, Netflix is, is, is doing like really interesting uh, uh risky projects and and they're you, you know they're betting for it and 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 they're they've been very supportive so i feel very lucky and and in good company well guys thank you so much for talking to us congratulations on the film cheers